Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Orioles today is Mike Bodiger, whose record is 2-3 with a 5.68 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Tom Filer, whose record is 4-1 with a 4.02 ERA. So the Orioles absolutely clobbered us yesterday. Uh, Andahar gave up uh, nine runs in four innings. I think there was 13 hits. We really tried to push him as, as far as he could go uh, to, you know, to try to stop taxing our bullpen. Uh, this uh, terrible stretch that we've been on basically for the last two weeks um, has really absolutely leveled our bullpen, and uh, we've continued to make uh, <laughs> triple-A trips with our bullpen arms, um, and we made another one uh, prior to, to uh, today's game. We'll show you that here momentarily, but, uh, you know, we find ourselves really in a situation now, looking at the standings, that um, we are four and a half games back, I mean, I'm sorry, we're four and a half games up on New York, five and a half on Boston. So it's not like we're in immediate danger of losing the lead. But we also have to consider, you know, whether or not we're going to be buyers or sellers at the trade deadline, which is a little over a month away. We will get Petrie back, um, looking at our pitching staff here. Petrie's got 35 games to go before he comes back. He will likely replace Filer or Kelly and Miller and um, you know at that point we have to really decide if we're gonna are we gonna go for it if we are we need to make a trade for another arm we have you know we have some potential great young arms in AAA we have Danny Jackson we have Jeff Robinson Morris Madden has had a, a shot already at the majors, but he's been terrible at the league level. So, I, you know, I don't know exactly what to do. I guess we have to wait for things to become more clear over the next, uh, you know, two to three weeks. And then we will have, you know, assuming that we're still in it in two to three weeks, the way we've been playing, uh, then we'll have to make a decision whether we are buyers or sellers. So... As of today, we are buying, so let's go ahead and get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone uh, following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. We have um, Tom Filer, as I mentioned. He is our starting pitcher today. Current Orioles lineup is batting uh, 364 against him. Only 22 plate appearances, so not great. We did send Carl Willis down. Uh, he is he got clobbered yesterday, uh, giving up his first uh, major league runs ever. Actually, uh, we got we kept a, a Jerry Uger, but he will not be available. So uh, Dave Gumpy Gumpert is um, up in short relief. Not so good this year, but he was really the only right-handed arm in AAA that wasn't down there from the majors to rest. So. That was um, our only option. Eddie Murray listed as tired, so we're going to sit him today. Put Greg Brock in there. And guess what? Jeremy DeYoung made us a Ricky Henderson Detroit Tigers baseball card. Looking great. Uh, love that card. Hopefully he'll be wearing a Tiger uniform uh, beyond this year. Another player that we really have a decision to make as he goes to free agency. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and do the Orioles lineup rundown for today's game. Looks like the same as the first two games. Batting leadoff in left field is Alan Bannister. Batting second, playing second base is Wayne Krenchicki. Batting third and DHing is Greg Luzinski. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Jim Traber. Batting fifth, playing third base is Doug DeSensei. Batting 6th, playing shortstop, is Robin Yount. Batting 7th in right field is Kenny Singleton. Batting 8th, playing center field, is Ron LaFleur. 
And batting ninth at catching is Ray Smith. Here is Tom Filer making his first start since he got his new baseball card. Looking good. He's making his 13th start of the season. 4-1 with a 4-0-2 ERA. More walks and strikeouts. That is always going to get you a uh, one-way trip to AAA. Opponents are batting 253 against him. Uh, his fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. 47.3% uh, ground ball percentage. That is uh, in the average range. His fastball is his best pitch, rated in 82. He's got a slider just below average. Overall rated only a 77, so not great, but uh, his stats are probably above par compared to his uh, overall ratings. He does go to arbitration next year. Let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. There you go. We have uh, Gold Glovers at second base and in the left field. And Terry Kennedy back behind the plate today with his arm rated an 81. Okay, here is Alan Bannister leading off against Tom Filer. A one count and a ground ball to second. Whitaker tosses out Bannister. So the leadoff man <laughs> is uh, kept from uh, uh, first base today. We appreciate that kind of a start. Next up is Wayne Krinchicki with the ground ball to short. Oh, and an error by Trammell. Come on. We had four errors. Uh, what In the first game, we had an error yesterday and an error here in the first. Okay, Greg Lusinski up. This is a uh, double play possibility here if we can get a ground ball. There we go. Up the middle. Good range from Whitaker. And Whitaker turns two. A 4-6-3 double play. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Tigers lineup for today's ball game. Batting leadoff, playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second in left field is Ricky Henderson. Batting third at first base is Greg Brock. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth and catching today is Terry Kennedy. Batting sixth, playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting seventh and DHing is Kirk Gibson. Batting eighth in right field is Glenn Wilson. And batting ninth in center field is Eddie Miller. Mike Boddicker, you can see here most of his uh, sim career, uh, he's been injured. Uh, only making his ninth start of the season. He was um, injured earlier on. Last year, he missed uh, almost seven months of the season. So uh, he only made a, like one month's worth. Of, I guess it was probably six months. Of, what does it say? Seven months. So, yeah, actually, it's probably six months rounded up. Uh, two weeks and then four weeks um, also in 82. So I don't know what the hell's going on there. Uh, nonetheless... Uh, his ERA is high. It's 2 and 3, the 5.68 ERA, 31 Ks, and 58.2 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 291. He does have a complete game. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball pitcher uh, at four, uh, 48%. His best pitch is a slow curve, rated at 89. His changeup is 81. A couple other pitches mixed in. The 25-year-old right-hander uh, goes to arbitration next season. Okay, here is the uh, defense for the Orioles today. And uh, as always, you have Gold Glovers in right field and center field. And Sweet Lou leading off against Mike Boddicker. Boddicker starts off with that slow curve, walking Whitaker. Good to start off the game being patient. Whitaker at first base. Here is Ricky Henderson. Give the uh, hit and run sign here. A strike. Oh, come on. Swings and misses, and Whitaker is gunned down. And that, by the way, that was a changeup. It was sub 80, and Whitaker, who was running on the play, was thrown out. That is uh, the fourth time this year. He's 6 for 10. That's not a good ratio. Well... We've made an error in the first, and we've been caught stealing in the first. So this is a bad, bad sign for how things might go today. Ricky Henderson, base hit. We are definitely sending him. 
77% chance of being successful. He is now tied for the league lead in uh, stolen bases. And he's caught stealing as well. And then a ground ball out. So, Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is where we're at in the season. Like, there is literally nothing we can do that the game will allow us to uh, to succeed. So we just have to play it out. Jim Paul, uh, Traber popping up. There's one down. A comebacker from Doug DeSensei to Filer. Filer makes the play. And Robin Yount... He's having a quiet series, and there's a base hit to right. Haven't called uh, Robin Yount's number much. There's a base hit to right, so runner on first with two down, and Ken Singleton up. Roller to third, and that'll do it. So we go to the bottom of the second inning with Mickey Hatcher leading off. Popping it straight up on the infield. One down. So we've had an error, two caught stealings, a missed hit and run. Not, not good. There's a base hit from Terry Kennedy. This guy, man, he has basically saved this team uh, w without having any decent catcher all season. There's a ground ball to third. That'll get Kennedy over. And it will take a base hit here from Gibby to score the go-ahead run. And Gibby strikes out, of course. We go to the top of the third, no score. Ron the floor leading off. The floor batting 195 with six home runs. He's going to dump it into right center field. Oh, it's going to be caught. Uh, flying out to right field. I don't know if Wilson actually made that catch. I would surmise that maybe... Whitaker went back and made the play in shallow right field. One down. Ray Smith up next, flipping it into right field over the head of Wilson for a double. Hit number two for the Orioles. Ray Smith's 12th double. More doubles than any Tiger right now Ray Smith has. We're going to pull the outfield in. I don't think it'll do us any good, but it's worth a shot. There's a uh, fly ball to the left. That should be an easy play for Henderson. And uh, Krinchicki up. Again, outfield pulled in for the left-hander. I would imagine Smith has, I mean, it shows Smith has decent speed. He should be able to score with two down running on the play. Filer. Makes the play on the comebacker, and that'll do it. So, no score on the board. Totally different than yesterday's game. Here's our hot hitter, Glenn Wilson. Nine home runs now. Look at his log. Look right at it. He's given. Uh, he's had uh, four home runs now in his last six ball games. Uh, so, he's, he's jacked up right now. Let's see if we can keep it rolling here. 0-2 count. He waited on that curveball. Oh, a Fosh ball. What the hell is a Fosh ball? I have no idea what is a Fosh ball. But yeah, um, Fosh ball. That's crazy. One down. I've never heard of that before in my life. Miller popping it up. Two down. Here's Sweet Lou. And there's a grounder to short. Okay. Oh, an error by the shortstop. Yount. Now we're calling his name for the wrong reasons. Let's see if Ricky can make up for being caught stealing. There we go. Another hit for Henderson. He's two for two today. Whitaker goes to third. We're not going to send Henderson here. We're going to let Brock take a cut. We don't want to take the bat out of his hand. 2-2 two, two count. And he strikes out. Oh, jeez. I'm not... I should have... I should know during the stretch that I need to have alcohol available during all gameplay. Uh, instead, I just have some coffee today. So give me one minute here. Yeah, it's not the same. All right. Top of the fourth... 
the ball. Greg Wazinski, finally pitching pretty well. No walks, no strikeouts. That's about the best you can ask for from Tom Filer. He just throws it over the plate. Sometimes that backfires on him. One of the things that I will say uh, during this losing stretch, as uh, Jim Traber crushed it right after I complimented, whenever I say something positive, uh, it gets turned around on us right away. A, fi a 15th home run of the year for Jim Traber. I was just going to say that um, I feel like the our opponent's offense, uh, their lineup, they're, they're much better uh, positioned. Like, I feel like each of, the, you know, however they're designed to be set up by the game feels very advantageous offensively. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not, but, you know, uh, when we go to the bullpen, we just don't seem to be able to do a left-right, you know. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because we're not, our starters are not lasting long enough either. Yeah, uh, once again, saying his name, base hit. Fourth hit on the day for the Orioles. And then a grounder from Singleton will get Filer out of the inning. Solo shot from Traber, and it's 1-0 as we head to the bottom of the fourth. We've got Hatcher, Kennedy, and Trammell. We need someone to go big fly here. And, you know, also, again, I, I say this, I feel like every game, but we have two of the worst defensive outfielders how are balls not finding the way, you know, to, for singles and doubles? I, I don't understand that. The ground ball to second. Out number two. It throws a fosh. A one, two, three. Inning. We're going to the fifth inning. Tom Filer. 43 pitches around the floor leading off. Flipping it into right center field. There's one out. Next up, Ray Ray Smith. He's one for one today. A ground ball to second. Go back to the top of the lineup with Alan Bannister. And Bannister sends a rainbow into right center. That'll do it. A one, two, three. The game's moving along. You can say that much. Uh, Gibby leading off. Gibby struck out first time up. Popping it up on the Gibby has he is a shell of him, his self. I, last year, I think he batted right around 270. He, he led the team in home runs. And this year he's got nothing. Glenn Wilson a ground ball to second. Bodicker looking sharp. He walked a leadoff, man. That was the first, like, we're going to be shut out this ballgame. Uh, or it's going to be two to nothing is what I'm predicting. Um, and we missed our opportunity in the first. Like, there was no way we were going to score with the caught stealing. But I feel like in close ball games, if you don't take advantage in, of your first opportunity, uh, you're, you're sunk against that starting pitcher. Unless you can knock him out of the game. Wayne Krinchicki lines it to left. Henderson makes a nice catch. One down. Here is the bull. Luzinski, there we go. That's a double into the gap in right center field. I don't think Luzinski's going to get a triple anytime soon. Oh, he's got one this year. That's his 16th double. So runner on second. Uh, do we walk Traber? to set up the double play. Yes, we do. So an intentional walk issued to Traber to get to Doug DeSensei. Now this might be Doug DeSensei's last game. Castino comes back tomorrow. So he's maybe looking to make a um, an impression here. A ground ball should be an easy double play. Full count. Oh, he strikes him out. Okay, well, uh, that's a good result. And with Robin Yount up, Yount's having a pretty good game. He's two for two today, other than the error, uh, which really led to nothing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna pitch to him here. I mean, we don't need to pull the outfield in. Now with two down, he's gonna be running anyway. 
That's a high fly ball to right. Filer's going to get out of this. If Wilson can make the catch, he does. And we go to the bottom of the six. Six good innings from Filer. Here's Sweet Lou leading off against Boddicker. 0 for 5 in his career. He had that leadoff walk. In fact, let's take a look at the in-game stats. Nothing to write home about here. Uh, Henderson, 2 for 2. Probably gets the, um, the nudge for the player of the game. There's a strikeout. 4 Ks for Boddicker. Henderson finally grounds out. Yeah, there's really nothing we're going to be able to do in this ball game. Uh, the reason why I say it's going to be two to nothing is because uh, the run differential is 102 runs. So if if uh, the Orioles score two, it'll be right at 100, which is the right amount. While they're moving them, moving them along here, mowing them down, popping them up. Two quick outs in the seventh, and Ray Smith, ah, oh, bleeder, just passed. Trammel, six hits for the Orioles. This will be the last batter for Tom Filer. Yep. And there's hit number seven. So, oh, a run scored. See, it's two nothing. There you go. I told you. I knew that would happen. I mean, there's no reason that should be a double with a gold glover out in left field. Uh, although Bannister did lead the AL in doubles last year with 57. That's his 18th this year. So it is something he's exceptional at. All right, Filer. Well, I mean, we're, I mean, that was a good, still a good start. He is responsible for the runner on second. We're going to bring in a left-hander. Uh, that lefty is going to be Kami. Kami having a good year. Become a very reliable pitcher. He's only had that one blemish in uh, 81. Now, that season was not so good. But this year, he, I mean, his walks are under control. Not giving up a lot of hits. 20 hits and 30 in the third innings pitched. Um, and his um, overall rating is a 77. So... He does go to arbitration at the end of the year. We'll probably pay him to stick around. Okay, um, two down, runner on second. Here's Wayne Krinchicki. We do, we will pull the outfield in now. Bannister's got good speed, though. Leads the team in stolen bases. And a grounder to first. Brock makes the play. So the Orioles get another run on the RBI double. It's two to nothing. I've already called my shot. As Hatcher leads off, striking out. Yeah. I mean, there, I, there's nothing we're going to be able to do today. K uh, Kennedy, base hit in the center. He's two for three with Henderson. Uh, there's no point in pinch running. There's no point in hitting and running. We need two runs. We need a two-run home run. Oh, man, there we go. What is the deal? I, 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 I want everyone to be clear. I am calling this game live. I'm not just dubbing the audio track afterwards. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I did not think that was going to happen, but I'm just saying that's what we needed. That is home run number 10 on the year for Trammell, who um, has bulked up. His power is only 82. His first sim here... He had 20, and then in the strike short year, he had 18. Last year, he got injured. And this year, we're, we're trying to keep him healthy. Um, and he comes through with a two-run home run. Let's go back-to-back -back with Gibby here. Oh, he strikes out. Of course, Gibby strikes out. Okay, so two down, and Big Willie. Base hit to right. There we go. Let's get a little two-out rally going. Now, we have a slow-ass base runner and a noodle arm. Yes, let's go for... Let's get him in scoring position. Let's try it. He's not going to steal, and Miller's probably not the guy you want there. So we're going to go for it. 60% chance. He's out. It was, it was really a negative 5% chance that he was going to make it. So we've been thrown out on the base path three times today. 
We go to the top of the eighth inning, and uh, it's a whole new ball game. It's all tied at two. Um, so we are going to take out Comstock, and we're going to bring Gumpy Gumpert in. Here's Dave Gumpert, if you forgot. Making his eighth appearance. Uh, not good looking numbers, but I believe we set him down after some good. Yeah, we he got a little confidence there in his last four appearances. And then we set him down um, as I think it was Dave Smith was due to be back. So um, let's see what he's learned facing Greg Luzinski. He learned nothing. Nothing! A base hit the left. I was thinking if he got Luzinski out, I'd bring in a lefty. But now I may as well just have him pitch. We could get a ground ball double play, or Traber could go deep again here. So this is going to be a wild pitch. So now we'll walk him, potentially walk again to get to Desense. So... We need a double play from Doug DeSensei here. Nobody out. There we go. Ground ball to Trammell. And a double play. Luzinski advances to third. And we have a shot of getting out of this jam. Here's Robin Yount. Having a good game today. Two for three. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Like that, there was nothing we were going to be able to do. To prevent that from happening. Unbelievable. A balk. That is so stupid. Why why would the game do that? Why not just have Robin Yount get a base hit like that? I would have been totally acceptable of that. Accepted of that. But now it's... There's nothing we can do. And another double! Down the line that the runner scores from first. So, okay, there's a, so it is a two-run difference. So it's not two to nothing anymore. But the two-run differential is in play. You know, strike him out here. Oh, no. He gets that out anyway. Oh, of course. Uh, Trammell's second error of the ball game, And the mogul is on. Unbelievable. What horseshit. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. A balk gave them the go-ahead run. An Eric prolonged the inning. And then a double where the runner scored from first for the second time in the game on a double to left field with a gold glove left fielder out there. Miller popping it up. Lou with a comebacker. And Ricky <laughs> barely could get it back to the pitcher. We're going to the ninth inning. We're going to leave Gump Gumpert in there. I mean, there's no reason to bring in anybody else. Bannister pops it up. And Chicky grounds out. Wow, Trammell makes the play. And Luzinski flies out to left. Oh, that might fall in. Nope, it'll be caught. Yeah. Uh, it's 4-2. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We have uh, we have 3, 4, and 5 due up. Anybody gets on with these uh, slow pokes will get pinch run, pinch run for. Hot shot past third. And Brock is on. Doug Baker. A pinch run. I mean, I'm I'm scared to hit and run. Uh, when was the last time that actually worked? But Hatcher's the man to do it with. Gravel to third. There's one out. Here's Terry Kennedy. Line drive in the center. Baker advances to third. 
And Trammell with two outs. Gets one of the runs back. As always, they try to, they always tease you in the ninth inning. And Gibby, now Gibby has been total trash all game. He can walk it off with one swing of the bat. Certainly capable. He's got great power. He has no responsibility. Here we go. Oh, they're going to walk him? To get to Glenn Wilson. Hmm, interesting. I mean, Murray would be perfect in this situation, but it is his day off today. Uh, versus right-handers. Hojo's batting 261. Much better than Glenn Wilson, but Glenn Wilson's the hot hand. I still think you bring in Howard Johnson in this situation. I mean, he's more capable of getting on base. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I think we could, maybe we got to show some... Um, I don't think it's going to matter, actually, to be honest. <laughs> I'm putting too much thought into something that's not going to happen. So we're going to let Glenn Wilson take a cut here. 0-1 oh, count. Oh, it was a good call. He flips it down the line. Why don't we score from first? Yeah, that's bullshit. We get two runs back this inning. They finally pull Boddicker. They're bringing in the quiz. He is uh, the right-handed setup man. Uh, his fastball tops out at 83. He's got a knuckler. Um, you know, he's a sidearm guy, so or maybe a submariner, technically. So he's got a sinker and a curveball. Pretty good pitcher, having a good year. Only thrown 14 innings, though. That's kind of weird, right? Okay, now Eddie Miller, who's 0 for 3 today, has a chance to be uh, a hero. He's a switch hitter. I think we got to let him uh, take a cut here. Uh, here we go. First pitch swinging, ground ball to short. Free baseball. All right, defensively, we got to. We have to fix something? Oh, yeah, first base. Oh, I guess Baker. Well, I guess Hojo will play first. All right, so Hojo goes in, plays first base. And. Um, We're going to bring in a lefty to face uh, Jim Traber. And that lefty is going to be Dave Rucker. Rucker definitely overused this year. Traber batting 157 versus lefties. And he walks him, of course. And that'll bring in Weaver, who's absolutely been the worst pitcher on the team. Giving up runs left and right. Hasn't had a save since June 8th. Took the loss uh, in the first game of the series. And uh, we have no expectations. Doug DeSensei and a pass ball. Okay. All right. Like, just get a hit. Let's get it over with. I'll pull the outfield in. I'll get Traber over. Intentionally walk. Robin Yout to get to Singleton, who's slow as molasses. Slowest, slowest runner in the game. 57 speed. Um, we're going to uh, pull the infield in because the game is on the line. Here we go. And a wild pitch. So, again, with a runner on third, we've balked in a run, and we've wild pitched in a run. And uh, they have to win by two. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's... I, I don't know why they keep letting us uh, score. That doesn't make sense. There we go. All right. So this should be the ball game here. 
We've got Whitaker, Henderson, and Hojo do up. There's a nice, easy grounder to third. Ricky Henderson. Another hit for Henderson. Tigers do have double-digit hits. We need two runs, so there's no point in uh, trying to steal. Although he, sh he could steal so easily on uh, Quisenberry. It might just steal for fun. Um, well, let's let Hojo take a cut. He is capable of hitting a home run. Oh, base at the left. So Hojo comes through. Nope. Will... <laughs> Will Nicky Hatcher walk us off? Uh, he's 0 for 4 on the day, and I think he had a terrible game. Did he have a bad game yesterday also? No, he had, uh, yeah, he went 0 for 4 yesterday too. So he's in a little bit of a slump. Let's see if Hatcher has any magic in his bat. And now they're going to bring in Bruce Suter for Terry Kennedy. Kennedy's hot. Now, Suter's got a, a great sl uh, splitter, best in baseball. Look at this. This guy doing his gerb. And he's going to face Terry Kennedy. And there's your two rows. Oh, it's a base hit in the center field. It gets past the second baseman. And now we've got our boy Alan Trammell at the plate. Good job by Terry Kennedy. Uh, we don't need to pinch run for Kennedy in this uh, situation. Uh, but we will. We will. We will pinch run with Kevin Bass. Because we do have Parrish, just in case something surprising happens. Uh, all right. Here's Trammell. And Trammell strikes out. Well, that's so it, <laughs> it's only a one run, 101 run differential. Oh, the Braves are offering us a basket full of bullshit with uh, literal nobodies uh, for George Capazello. Um, so, no. All right. So we lose again. Um, yeah. Boston's three and a half back. I'm sorry, New York three and a half, Boston four and a half. Baltimore six back now. Toronto, how are they? I mean, we face Toronto next. They've lost six in a row. Their fortunes are about to turn. How are they losing so many games? It's got to be their pitching with that 501 ERA. Um, I guess I guess the right-handers are just not doing their job. Uh, let's take a look at headlines. Boston gets within four and a half as they win seven to six over who? Uh, you have to guess. All right. Clint Hurdle, by the way, from Big Rapids, Michigan, which is where Ferris State University is. That's where I went to school. Uh, here is uh, the next one. Next, Seattle crushes Cleveland. Dave Stapleton. Uh, had a good game, but he has not been that great for Seattle since uh, the trade over there in the preseason. A lot of other good things going on. Yeah, they don't even... James didn't even bother to write about the Tigers. Let's take a look at transactions. Um, in, uh, because we looked at the trade yesterday, I forgot to point out that uh, Eck got a five-year deal. Uh, Willie Montanez uh, retired. By the way, Willie Montanez, he, this guy never really got a fair shake. He had 30 home runs in his first full season with the Phillies in 1971, which was a pitcher's era. Um, I thought maybe he was rookie of the year that year. I guess he wasn't. Uh, but at any rate, um, he was an all-star in a... Uh, 1977 for Atlanta, but uh, a, a player who, you know, probably should have had a different, 
career. Willie McGee of the Cardinals are, is going to miss two weeks, and Albert Williams retires from the Twinkies. And he did get did two games in our first sim season, and then that was it for him. So let's pull up the box score. Swept at home by the Orioles. Player of the game. There were now there were many Tigers who got hits today. We had 12 hits, as you can see there. Player of the game. I guess we're going to give it to Trammell. He did drive in three runs. I mean, we did. <sighs> I mean, what can we do with our pitchers? Like, literally nothing. We lost this. We gave up two runs in this game on um, a balk and a wild pitch. Crucial runs that we um, we could not overcome. Uh, and uh, Trammell had two errors, which didn't lead to any unearned runs. So I don't really guess. I guess we can't really throw the book at him. We had two stolen, uh, caught stealings in the first inning. I mean, nothing, the game was not going to let us win this game. They kept us in it. It was very entertaining, I guess, but all right, that's going to do it. We have uh, Toronto and Lloyd Mosby coming to town tomorrow. Until then, everyone, have a great night.